Well hello there and welcome back to my channel. So I finally got it built, it's the Tyro 79 now living happily in the uh, Beta FPV x Knight frame for 4 inch props which I reviewed in a previous video. So looking very nice, flies very well apart from one little issue and perhaps you can tell what that issue was, we had a little crash, well the reason for that crash probably tell from looking at the build now, I need to make some changes in this, but we'll get to that in a little while. So, what have we done to get this mounted in here? Well obviously we bought a uh, pod, a canopy, to put a 14mm camera in, we changed the camera over, this is a Foxeer camera, to be now the Razor I think it's called, um, just a little 14x14 14 14 sort of budget camera, does very nicely, obviously you might have your own 14x14 14 14 camera that you want to use, but I've just used that and it's done really well. So we've mounted that on, some standoffs there, not quite got standoffs long enough so I've used little plastic parts. I've got some longer standoffs coming but for the time being they suffice. We've got the 20x20 20 20 stack in there which was the difficult problem, that was the only real issue. Um, and obviously the motor's just mounted no problems onto there. Had to use some slightly longer screws because these arms are thicker than the original Tyro uh, 79 arms so we need to have some um, M2 screws, a slightly longer length to, to screw that on to make sure they don't come off because there's not quite enough thread in it with the original screws but apart from that we've not had to have make any modifications and obviously we've got some gem fan 4032 props on but going back to the stack obviously this frame is designed for a um, a whoop star board to go in there with sort of a 26 mil mounting option uh, but we've got a 20 by 20 stack in here so how have we done that well um, in the previous video I mentioned um, the problem that I had with the air blade um, toothpick frame, a broken arm, so I cut the other arms off and put that sort of the um, the base of that, what was left, in the bottom of this because it's got a whoop star ball mounting option and a 20 by 20 and a 16 by 16 mounting option on it as well. So I've just attached the um, um, the, the stack, the tower to the, the board and then I've uh, the mounting board and then I've attached the, the, the that carbon part, the base, to the bottom of the frame and that's really tight mounted nicely no problems there works really well apart from one issue we'll come to in a second so there's the, the build proof of concept really but it's gone together really nicely and I can highly recommend if you've got the um, Tyro uh, 79 and want to do something with it a bit different make it into a 4 inch then the uh, the Beta FPV X Knight frame is perhaps an option you could go for to do that um, to fly Using it with this little 4S LiPo, the Tattoo 650, flew really nicely for about 30 seconds, but as we said, we'll get to that. We'll get a nice crash video at the end, so hold on. But most important of all is weight. So we bring in the kitchen scales. We're not measuring to make a cake. We're weighing a quad, so let's put that on there. 153 grams, which is brilliant. And with the LiPo, it's coming at... 220 grams so underneath the magic number of 250 we could even try I don't have one unfortunately an 850 for us because we've got that 30 gram or 29 gram really capacity in here so if our 850 is only 29 grams heavier then we'll be all right still keep under that magic 250 if that's an issue for where you are so there you go it's all gone together very, very nicely. Um, obviously, if you don't want to butcher uh, um, the base plate of a uh, air blade toothpick frame, you can get one of these, and I'll put a link to these in the description. This is a mounting plate which allow you to mount the uh, twenty by twenty stack on the uh, sixteen, uh, also the twenty six by twenty six mounting option, um, the whoop style board option. So that's very useful. That would fit in there quite nicely without any problems. And then you could mount the towel on there. It's only, I think it's only a couple of pounds. It's not very expensive. Obviously, if you've already got Tyro 79, the frame's not very expensive, but that's a really strong frame. There's no flex in that at all. It's really tough. And as I had a crash with it, it hadn't done anything to it. So it's it's a good frame. So why did we have our crash? Well, you probably can tell I've gone and put the uh, the antenna, the receiver, in completely the wrong place, thinking it was a good idea. Oops. Because I've done this before, if you've only got a single antenna, obviously diversity, you put your antenna and you've got no problems. And I've done this before with a single antenna on the side, 
but on a bottom, a top mounted, sorry, um, quad. So the battery was on the top, so it didn't block the view on the bottom, you could still get a view of the antenna. But with this, with the battery mounted on the bottom, it's completely blocking the view as you're flying this way to you, and that's what happened. Block the view and uh, it fell out of the sky um, and landed in the stream. So this is now going to live in the air and cupboard for the next couple of days, and then I'm going to plug a LiPo in and see if I get some magic smoke or not. The motors should be okay because they're a um, the waterproof and brushless motors. They'll work underwater. Um, you might wash away some of the um, the oil in it, but if you've got some some uh, some oil to put back in there, you should have a problem. But for the most part, they're quite happy as long as they don't get rusty. Get them out and get them dry quick. Um, the electronics, I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. That'd be fun. Okay. Anyway, so we'll get that video in a second. Use this to mount the board. That's pretty much everything. Can't think of anything else. Give it a go. Why not? You've got the parts. It's a nice little project, and you get so much more power and thrust. With just that extra um, size, the extra inch in the most in the, um, the prop size, going from three inch to four inch, you get a lot more thrust. And it's not very heavy at all for a 4S. A really nice little build. So I could highly recommend it. Just you know, mount the receiver and the antenna in a slightly better location than I have. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so we'll now go to the, the crash video for you to enjoy. There's a bit of flight in there as well. You know, it does give me some warning signs and drop out a couple of times before it completely dies and falls out of the sky and, and lands in the small stream that was next to me. I managed to miss the dry land, annoyingly. Anyway, so there you go. So play the video and uh, thanks for watching. Keep flying, keep yourself safe. In these uh, interesting times, and I hope you at least smile at my uh, my mistake. Uh, perhaps I'll see you in another video in the future. Take care now. Bye bye.